I'm Beth. I'm Molly. So part of our job is to stand backstage and encourage girls to get up in front of over 400 people and play a song they wrote in the last five days with girls that they just met on an instrument they may have no experience playing. And now we're on stage. And I'm even more impressed by our campers because they make this look pretty easy. They really do. The Rock and Roll Camp for Girls started in 2001 as a Portland State University student project where she planned a week-long summer program that had girls receiving lessons from women in rock and roll and self-esteem building workshops. I'm really glad the title of this session is called Becoming Extraordinary Together because though Rock Camp is our passion, we're just two of thousands of volunteers, staff, community members, donors, campers, and all the people that come together that make the mission alive year after year. All of their stories are what make Rock Camp so unique and powerful. These are just ours. I first came to Rock Camp in 2004, when I was 15 years old, as a camper at the recommendation of my therapist. I drove down from Seattle with my mom, probably rolling my eyes the entire way. I was not excited about the idea of going to an all-girls camp. I was really nervous about playing drums outside of my basement for the first time, and I didn't know anybody. But as soon as I arrived, it was just this wonderful whirlwind of instrument classes, screen printing, zine making, self-defense workshops, fake mustache wearing, band practice, everything. There wasn't any time to hesitate. You just dive in and try and have a good time. I didn't realize it at the time, but part of what made my experience at camp so meaningful that first year was the core values that underpin all of the rock and roll fun. These are the beliefs that make the Rock and Roll Camp for Girls so much more than a week-long summer camp. We believe girls can play any kind of music they want. Rock and roll is in our name, but we support all the ways girls want to rock, whatever that means to them. Whether it's distorted power chords or turntable scratching, beat making, ukulele strumming. Maybe a camper wants to play her guitar with an electric toothbrush. That's cool. It's totally happened. <laughs> um, so, rock and roll is just in our name, but we want to support all the ways that girls play music and express themselves. This includes inventing their own genres, like eco-grunge or Art. songs about trees. My favorite is a little more amorphous. It's um, the I don't care, I'm just here to have fun genre. Classic. Every year we get girls that are trying out these different ways to rock, just like we're all trying out different ways to be a girl. We believe the voices of girls and women need to be amplified to create social change. Literally. So by giving girls the chance to be heard, we're letting them know that what they have to say is important. Rock Camp just gives them the microphone and then listens. We believe in creating a community where girls support each other rather than tear each other down. Rock Camp is as much about learning how to work together, communicate, and collaborate in a non-competitive environment as much as it is about shredding. But plenty of that happens, for oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> we also believe that girls need positive role models and support for their creative endeavors. Positive female mentorship is at the core of everything that we do at the Rock and Roll Camp for Girls. Also, we don't hear enough about women in music, and we want the girls to know that they have a place in an influential, diverse, and ongoing music her story. To inspire the girls, we have a female majority bands play at lunch, we incorporate women's contributions to music in all of our curriculum, and we have all female instrument instructors. Since 2001, the Rock and Roll Camp for Girls has grown to include three sessions of summer camp, year-round after-school programming that includes sound engineering and recording classes, and two ladies' rock camps for all those women that told us they wish this program had existed for them when they were girls. I first heard about the Rock Camp for Girls in a zine in my hometown of Charleston, South Carolina. It was six years ago, and I was already too old to be a camper, um, but I was sitting in my bandmate's living room, and I just turned to her and said, we have to get involved with this. Um, the nearest camp at the time was Millie, M Willie May Rock Camp in Brooklyn, so that's where we signed up. After being told for nearly a decade that I played guitar really well for a girl, 
it was so refreshing to be in a room full of women of all skills and backgrounds that were teaching these girls not only how to play their instruments, but how to set up their gear, how to ask the sound person for more vocal in the monitor, how to record their song, how to book a show. Rock Camp demystifies the process of music creation and performance and makes it more accessible. Because being in a band can seem really intimidating, but it's all about being yourself. And as we normalize the image of girls and women in music, it becomes more absurd to relate someone's gender to their talents. After that summer in Brooklyn, I knew that this program had to be recreated in my hometown of Charleston. So I volunteered again, came here to Portland and got involved, and my bandmate traveled around volunteering with other programs across the country. Really proud to say that we both participated in Girls Rock Charleston's first summer camp in 2011. <laughs> so we joined Portland and over 40 other camps worldwide. And that's just how Rock Camp works. Once you experience it, you're inspired and empowered to start your own camp and bring the mission to life in your community. So as Beth said, this idea has spread all over the United States, lots of different cities in Canada. It's made as far as Germany, Austria, France, Japan, there's like nine in Sweden. Because Girls Rock <laughs> is more than just a slogan. It's a movement. And even if the girl never plays an instrument again after camp, she's learning skills that are transferable to all areas of her life. But we think that's enough talking about Rock Camp. Yeah. We are extremely proud and very excited to introduce a band that was formed last summer at camp. They've been playing together for about a year, but all of the girls have attended our programs for numerous years and have all tried out different instruments. Alma plays drums, Maya plays guitar, Athena on bass, and Carmilla on guitar and vocals. They're called Sass Fest, and they're about... <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's welcome them to the stage. Yeah. You ready? Well, they're going to play a song they recently wrote. It's called Cosmic Love Story. Let's welcome them to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> 